Okay, I'm gonna show you one of my recipes I use for it. This is just a simple southern style meatloaf. A meatloaf is one of my favorite meals to have. And right here we've got a one medium onion and then a half, and it's not even a half, it's like a fourth. See this big green pepper? So I've, I, this is this is the green pepper right here, about a cup, maybe a, yeah, about a cup of green pepper. So we're gonna take these. This is some olive oil. And we're gonna sweat these a little bit. I like them to be caramelized already. I, I don't like them really raw in my meatloaf. So let's let these cook a little bit. This is again our simple meatloaf. Let's get our onion and pepper. This is the onion and pepper that we've already sauteed. I put a little um, olive oil and also just about a tablespoon of butter. I have my oven preheated to 350. And let's put our, this is about two pounds of ground beef, lean ground beef, and I think we got ground chuck, I can't remember. It, it depends on how you want to do your, um, what type of meat you prefer. I prefer the cheaper meat for a meatloaf, like a ground beef or something, but this is a lean ground beef. So we're gonna put our peppers in that we've already, I didn't quite caramelize them, I just wanted to get their little rough edges off of them. Make them a little softer. So we've got that in here. This is called a burger seasoning. And um, there's about a tablespoon and a half maybe in there. I'll show you what that packet looks like. Let me show you. The actual packet. It's called Amazing Taste Foods. It's called just burger seasoning. You don't have to put this in here. This is just a recipe I'm trying from Southern Living that has burger seasoning in there. So we're gonna try this. I've got some Vigo um, breadcrumbs. I love the Vigo brand. I love their rices. Their rice is so good. But anyway, I've already got that measured out. You'll use about a cup of that. And then here's just some salt and pepper in here. Here's about a half a cup of milk. And I always break my eggs into something else or a glass bowl or something because you never know if it was trying to make a little baby. <laughs> and you don't want a bad egg in your food after you've already assembled it. So there's that. So we've got two eggs here. And I've got about a half a cup of ketchup. You can use diced tomatoes. My husband's not a big, he doesn't like whole tomatoes, so we're not going to use whole tomatoes. So he likes more puree. You can use tomato sauce. Um, I prefer ketchup. That's just the southern way. So we've got all of our ingredients in here. This is just for the inside of the meatloaf. The only thing about a meatloaf, you got to get your hands really dirty. My hands are really clean. So you're going to smush it all. Smush it all together. You can wear gloves if you prefer. Is it cold? No, it's not cold. I actually, I like my meat to sit out. Any type of meat that I'm cooking, I sit it out for a bit so it can get not quite room temp, but I do like it to not be right out of the refrigerator because it seems to cook better and everything meshes together better. Okay. Let's put, let's do this. One thing I do, I don't smash and smash and smash and smash and mix and mix, because it will make your meatloaf really tough. But I do put it in a small mold. I don't do all the smashing and rolling like you would a meatball. And I don't put it all the way to the edges. Some folks, um, you can put a couple of pieces of loaf bread underneath this, and it will gather the juices for you. And you don't have to do any draining. We're going to do this right here. And of this you can freeze it, but I'm going to actually bake it in another little pan and another little loaf pan, but this is the extra. This is just enough for me and my husband. Another thing is I'm baking this the day before. We're going to eat this tomorrow for our Sunday dinner after church. And I just prefer a meatloaf the next day. It's just way better. All the good flavors have melded in together. Let me wash my hands and we're gonna do the topping for the meatloaf. For my topping, again, we're gonna use, I only use Heinz ketchup. Um, 
it's my favorite. It's a little more expensive than the other ketchups, but this is my favorite. And again, this is the only recipe I, I use ketchup for. <laughs> I can't think of anything else I cook with ketchup. And you can use Worcestershire sauce. I can barely say that, but this is just some A1 steak sauce. And I know this is a little odd, but it's actually really good all this together. And this gives you kind of the sweet taste. I use my honey. This is the honey out of our garden from our bees. Not too much. A couple of tablespoons, fourth of a cup, whatever you want to put in there. Mix all that together. And that gives you a really nice smoky sweet topping. Some folks prefer to just sprinkle a little ketchup on top. And again, meatloaf is one of those really um, just time-saving, really, but cost-effective meals. You can make a really big one for a large family, eat it for dinner, and then have sandwiches later. It's just so good with some lettuce and tomato later on. You just pour this on top, and this will get all crunchy, and it's really good. Hear the pug snoring. Pug's asleep on her. And I like to spread that all pug over around there. here. And I'll check on this periodically. I'll cook this for about an hour, hour and a half. And I'll check on it to see how it's, the juices are coming. This is, of course, going to shrink, but I'll check the juices. And you can put it in a traditional loaf pan. You can lay it on this pan by itself and, and, and shape it into a loaf. That's just up to you. My other things I do, and of course, again, this is our Sunday dinner for tomorrow, but I'll put all this in the fridge and just put it in the oven when we get home from church. This is for Pug. I, I'm, I'm making burger. her two burgers. But um, these are some red potatoes that I've um, chopped up, and I've put roasted potato seasoning mix by Concord Foods. I really love good. Concord yeah, they Foods. Do great. They also sell a garlic mashed potato seasoning, but this one's bacon and chive, and you just, I, I, I microwave my potatoes a little bit so they'll be a little soft and then I put some butter or olive oil and this seasoning about half a pack for this many potatoes it is absolutely delicious these are green beans from my mother-in-law's garden Tony's yep. mom these are some of the best she green beans them, they're really good yeah really she great. puts them in big mason jars this has olive oil salt and pepper and I'll put all this in the oven together because I have a convection oven so it can all just cook together and it all cooks evenly. I love my convection oven. If you don't have one, it came with our house. They're, they cost a little more, but they're really, you can cook all this together and it doesn't hurt anything. So let's put our meatloaf in. We're gonna put it on the top shelf here. And I'll put my, these, I want these to roast as well. Cook all that together. Let's check it after 45 minutes. So let's do 45 minutes. And then I'll check it, okay? Okay, this is the meatloaf. It come out at, I think I cooked it about an hour and 20 minutes. And these I cooked about 50 minutes. This is the roast, this is the roast potatoes and the green beans. And we'll slice it and let you know how it tastes. I like for mine to cool and kind of mellow out. And we'll let you know how this tastes. We'll show it to you after we cut it. <laughs> 